In this video, I'm going to show you how to spin up Strapi Next.js application based on a Strapi Next.js starter from Notum. Let's start by opening up the Notum's GitHub organization and open up the Strapi Next mono repo starter. Then let's copy the URL to the repository and let's clone the repository locally. I'm using Visual Studio Code uh, for the IDE, so I'm just running git clone and the URL of the repository and I'm opening up the new folder that has been cloned and I'm reloading the Visual Studio Code. Let's speak to the readme right to the getting started section. As you can see in the prerequisites, there is a docker node 22 yarn 1.22 and nvm which is optional but recommended so i'll use it you can see i already have the docker started and by running nvm use i'm initializing the node.js in version 22 and by running yarn version i'm checking that uh, i'm on version 1.22 as requested I already went through the git clone and nvm use so let's just hit yarn to download all of the packages and set up the apps that i will need as you can see you don't need to worry about the workspace warning you can see the details under the url for the first run uh, getting started uh, show us that we need to start the yarn dev strapi which will uh, turn on or set up the strapi and open up the admin url and we need to copy the strapi rest read only api key so once i have all the docker images for strapi downloaded and set up you can double check it in your docker desktop that you have everything uh, in place as i do you will get the admin ui being open automatically so i'm just registering myself and let's get started uh, let's open up the settings Let's go to the API tokens, open up the read only API key, go to the edit view and hit regenerate. Once it's regenerated, you will uh, see this token only once. So let's copy it and paste it directly to apps ui.env.local file. We need to uh, find the strapi rest read lonely API key and paste the value in there and save. And now let's prepare some content so that uh, we have uh, we have something on the on the website. Let's start with the single types, uh, which is footer and navbar. These are the types that you just uh, can enter one record. So for the first one, uh, for the footer, I'm just adding a single link to Notum to their URL. In the navbar, I'm gonna create a single home link to the root of the page, and that's it just to uh, have it in place. And let's go and open up the page and create a new one uh, with title home. We'll keep the slug and full path as the uh, root or index. We'll open up the hero, we'll fill it up. So I'm opening up the hero details. You can see some of the, some of the fields are required. So I'm filling up the title in here with Notum, with a subtitle. Yeah, I'm using the support of my uh, predefined text so I don't need to type everything uh, all together. And then I'm adding one link called discover our services. And I borrowed the URL from uh, Notum web pages. So we have the hero section. The goal is to showcase you how you would, for example, create a landing page from Notum about this starter that I'm showcasing you. So the second section, oh, I uh, also adding the image to the first section. And now I'm uh, moving on to the second section or second component, which is heading uh, with CTA button. I'm placing the title there as well. And this will be the information about the Next.js stop, Strapi starter pack uh, with the URL to the repository that we are currently working on. So uh, let's open up and create a CTA for the label. Yeah, I'll just use GitHub repository to keep it simple and easy. 
paste the URL of the repository, repository we are working on. I'm publishing the page. You can see I forget the alt tag uh, for the media for the hero image, so just fill it in. And I'm publishing the page. And we should be ready to go. So if we go back, we need to stop everything because we just ran starter, uh, sorry, we just ran Strapi for the first time, but we would like to run all of the applications, including the front end application. So we scroll down and we just run yarn dev, which will run all of the application. You can see them listed on the left. And one of them being at repo slash UI slash dev being run on localhost 3000. If we open it up, there you go. We have our first page using Strapi Next.js Starter from Notum. And with that, let's test it out and let's open up the repository and we are ending where we started. Thank you.